The Philippine Air Force currently obtains a sizable fleet of combat utility helicopters. These assets have seen combat through the years of service, wherein they saw action recently in the Battle of Marawi, which play a vital role in medical evacuation and delivering ammunition and supplies to the ground troops. Not to mention that they also sought operation in humanitarian assistance or disaster response. The combat utility helicopter fleet currently consists of different variants of Bell UH-1 Huey and the newer Bell for one to helicopters. The Philippine Air Force has been using the Bell UH-1 Huey for decades, traces itself back to the Vietnam War era, with the first units said to have entered service with the Philippine Air Force in 1967. More than 100 units arrived over the next four decades, mainly from a newer and improved UH-1H Huey. Despite having a large number delivered, the Philippine Air Force has less than 40 units in service by 2010. With the incurring service life of the UH-1 Huey helicopter and the continuing need to improve its mobility capabilities, the Philippine Air Force raised the need to acquire another batch of combat utility helicopters to complement the existing fleet of Bell UH-1H Huey. Bell UH-1D Huey, Swidnik Sokol, and Bell for one to combat utility helicopters. Operated by the Philippine Air Force 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing. The Philippine Air Force selected the Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk helicopter for their phase three of combat utility helicopter acquisition project which is part of the Horizon 2 of the Revised Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program. In this video, we will see how the Philippine Air Force selected the Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk helicopter for their Phase 3 of Combat Utility Helicopter Acquisition Project, looking at how much it cost, how many units will there be, but more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of, and when we could see it in action. With the Philippine Air Force starting the modernization of its tactical helicopter assets and moving ahead with finding replacements for its venerable fleet of combat utility helicopters, it has started the Phase 1 Combat Utility Helicopter Acquisition Program. It has resulted in the acquisition of the PZL Swidnik W3 Asokol Combat Utility Helicopters from Poland, eight units ordered in 2010 and delivered in 2012. In 2013, due to a lack of budget and the severe lack of enough helicopters, the Philippine Air Force decided to purchase used UH-1 Huey helicopters. The deal signed for 21 refurbished UH-1 helicopters. Further delays led to the project cancellation in 2015, with only 13 UH-1D and UH-1D Super Deltas delivered. So far, two of the birds were involved in crashes. In 2014, another batch of the helicopter under the Phase to Acquisition project, allowing the Philippine Air Force to acquire eight Bell for one to EP helicopters. Although eight were acquired, only five for combat utility roles, with the 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing, and the other three units for very very important person transport roles, with the 250th Presidential Airlift Wing. So far, the Bell for one to EP was said to be the best helicopters in Philippine Air Force service, being newer than most Philippine Air Force helicopters, and this further highlighted, with the loss of three of the new W-3 Asokal helicopters, two accidents over five years. As the revised armed forces of the Philippines, modernization program shifts to a higher gear. With Horizon 2, more funding was made available, and this allowed the Philippine Air Force to allocate more budget in acquiring another batch of combat utility helicopters. For the Phase 3 program, they grant enough funds for 16 helicopters, enough to fill one squadron. As expected, the Department of National Defense designated the Combat Utility Helicopter Phase 3 to be a negotiated procurement rather than public bidding, and the Philippine Air Force recommended the deal to be awarded to Bell Helicopters, which offered a newer variant called the Bell for one to EPI. Compared to the Bell for one to EP, it has a more powerful engine, the latest avionics, and other safety features. 
In December 2017, the Department of National Defense and Bell Helicopters signed a contract of 12.1 billion pesos under a government-to-government -government deal with the Government of Canada through the Canadian Commercial Corporation with the first deliveries expected by 2019 and contract completion by 2020. But several sectors within the Government of Canada questioned the sale of the helicopters to the Philippines, with concerns of using them in human rights abuse by the Philippine military, based on the perception of President Duterte's government on being a perennial human rights abuser. They threatened to stop deliveries should it be found that the Philippines use the helicopters for activities related to human rights abuse. The Government of Canada's remarks to the Philippines prompted President Duterte to cancel and restart the Combat Utility Helicopter Acquisition Project. From 2018 to 2019, the Philippine Air Force Ray studied their options, while manufacturers tried their best to support the Philippine Air Force to win the selection process. Among those that worked for the project were Korea Aerospace Industries with the KUH-1 Surian, Sikorsky with the S-70I Black Hawk, Leonardo Augusta Westland with their W-139M, and Russian helicopters through Rosso Boron Export with the Mi-171 HIP helicopter. Despite being cancelled, Bell Helicopters was hopeful that changes in the government's stance could allow the Ray sign of a contract with the Bell for one to EPI. Aside from offers for brand new helicopters, the Philippine Air Force also received offers from companies providing lease to own, with the Airbus Helicopters H2-5M Caracal and Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk military helicopter. And the Israel Aircraft Industries offered pre-owned, refurbished, modernized Sikorsky UH-60 of Black Hawk helicopters to the Philippine Air Force as an alternative to brand new units. Meanwhile, the Korea Aerospace Industries, with their offer of the KUH-1 Surian helicopter, was in a disadvantageous position after a recent fatal crash involving the type in South Korea, which is still under investigation. During the Senate hearing on the Department of National Defense budget for 2019, the Philippine Air Force's commanding general confirmed that there are four helicopter models qualify for the Philippine Air Force acquisition of combat utility helicopters. And after the canceled deal to acquire Bell for one to EPI helicopters from Canada, still they include the Bell helicopter with their Bell for one to EPI, but to be acquired directly from the US instead of going through Canada. The Leonardo Augusta Westland with their W139M helicopter from Italy, Sikorsky with the S70 Black Hawk, which is expensive, and Russia's Milmi 171, which is an export version of the Milmi 17. Bell USA has been in negotiations with the Philippine Air Force and Department of National Defense to directly acquire the Bell for one to EPI from them, instead of Canadian authorities. The Bell for one to EPI remains the cheapest in the shortlisted models, although it is also the least militarized. So far, Philippine Air Force helicopter pilots prefer it due to several reasons, including transition, doctrine, design, and closeness to the Bell UH-1 that it will eventually replace. The AW-139M was what the Philippine Air Force was looking for when they acquire attack helicopters from Augusta Westland, but found it expensive, so they settled with the smaller AW-109E. And the Russian Mi-171 is an export version of the Mi-17 and is the largest among the offerings. It is the second cheapest after the Bell for one to EPI, but said to be expensive to operate due to its larger size. After almost a year of the selection process, the Philippine Air Force decided to go with the Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk. After Sikorsky, with the US government help, pushed the prices down, considering the original Black Hawk price was the most expensive among the offers, and from the first offered to sell only less than 16 units. Now Sikorsky will supply 16 Black Hawks for the same budget. The original market price of US-made UH-60M Black Hawks would cost $20 million each, and even the Polish-built S-70i will cost upward of $15 million. Based on information released, the Sikorsky Black Hawk with 16 units offered to the Philippine Air Force has a contract price of $241.4 million, 
even based on previous Black Hawk acquisition by other countries. $241.4 million isn't enough to allow for the procurement of 16 brand new Black Hawks, even the cheapest variant. This deal is a bargain for the Philippine Air Force. In March 2019, a contract was signed between the Department of National Defense and Sikorsky Aircraft through their Polish subsidiary PZL Milik. The Sikorsky 70i Black Hawk has the following characteristics. Cabin armor, for better protection. To sliding cargo doors, with pop-out egress windows. Crashworthy pilot, and co-pilot seats. To jettisonable cockpit doors. Three-point dual landing gear, with the kneeling capability. It has an active vibration control system. Wire strike protection system. Transition equipment storage compartment. Foldable tail pylon, for shipping and storage built-in work platforms, engine cowlings, and hydraulic deck. State-of-the-art mission systems provide unprecedented effectiveness and survivability. Radar warning receiver, automatic direction finder, missile warning system, three-station crew, digital ICS, laser warning, intelligence broadcast receiver, and advanced data links. It has for landscape, multifunctional displays, and flyaway kit to provides immediate communication capability in remote locations. Fast rope insertion extraction system and rappel mission provisions. Cabin interior soundproofing panels with 13 troop seat provisions for 13 fully loaded troops. An integrated vehicle health management system provisions are the unified capability of systems to assess the current or future state of the member system health and integrate that picture of system health within a framework of available resources and operational demand. It has to engines with maximum continuous power output of 1,000 to 160 to kilowatts. It has to crew the pilot and co-pilot. Sikorsky 70i Black Hawk adds capability advancement to better support the full range of combat utility mission sets with maximum gross weight for greater mission payload capacity main fuel tank capacity to 360 gallons for greater range, and with a maximum cruise speed of 361 kilometers per hour, a 195 nautical mile combat radius. The Sikorsky 70i Black Hawk meets all Philippine Air Force requirements for the combat utility helicopter mission. On the 9th of November 2020, the first five units of S-70I were delivered via the Antonov heavy aircraft to Clark Air Base, while the 6th arrived aboard a ship on the 27th of November, and it was expected the delivery of the remaining 10 units. Within the first quarter of 2021, the Sikorsky Combat Utility Helicopter will ensure the armed forces of the Philippines service members and civilians to have a way out and a ride home and provide multi-mission support capability, answering the call in war, in peacetime, and in disaster and relief of humanitarian operations.